Hi friends, today I'd like to share a story with you that I feel is very symbolic to all the changes and struggles we're all currently going through and what we can learn from this story. So our story begins with a caterpillar walking along a branch and all of a sudden it, it, it feels this innate urge that it's done all of its growth as a caterpillar and it's time to make its transformation into a butterfly. So it finds a spot on the branch that it's walking on, sticks its feet to the branch, and it allows the cocoon to form around it. Now a woman looks out of her kitchen window, we'll call her Ashley, and she sees the cocoon on the branch. She gets all excited because she knows that she's going to be able to see the transformation into this beautiful butterfly. So about a week passes, nothing really happens. And then one morning she looks out of her window and she begins to see the cocoon cracking. And so she stops and she stares for a moment. She's looking. But she, then she thinks to herself, this seems to be taking a little longer than I expected. Maybe I should help the butterfly and crack the, the cocoon a little bit for her. So she walks, over, she walks out, of her, out of her house and goes to the branch, cracks the shell a little bit, walks back in. And the butterfly continues to move and it continues to change and it makes its way out. But then she thinks again, this surely this is the butterfly should have made its way out by now maybe I'll help it just a little bit more so she goes back over and she cracks a little bit more of the shell goes back in the house and watches again and finally the butterfly emerges but when Ashley sees the butterfly she becomes very sad when she sees the butterfly it's weak and deformed and it's unable to fly so Ashley decides, she, you know, I'm going to care for this butterfly. So she takes it into her house and she tries to feed it for about a week. But the butterfly doesn't eat anything and it eventually dies. So what can we learn from this story? Well, we can learn three things from this story. First of all, the struggles, the cocoon in our lives, make us stronger physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. As much as the cocoons and the struggles in our life really suck, and sometimes they really, really suck, our growth is always evident as we emerge from those struggles. Now, the, the butterfly, it, it wasn't able to gain its full strength because Ashley had no faith that it, could move, that it could move from without its cocoon, which leads me to my next point. Two. We can't ask anybody else to crack our cocoon. We must break free of our cocoons ourselves. Sure, we can have our friends and family members and the people that you know are surrounding us, we can have them there to encourage us and support us and, yeah, keep going, keep pushing, keep breaking through that shell, keep breaking through that cocoon. But ultimately, the cocoon must be broken, must be broke free from the inside out, and only we can do that. And lastly, we have to keep moving. We have to keep breaking free of the cocoons and the shells in our lives. The butterfly kept moving. Even though it looked like it, it was stuck and it couldn't keep going, the butterfly kept breaking free, kept pushing out of that cocoon, even though Ashley had very little faith in it. So just like the butterfly, we are all ready, we're all going through changes, and we're all ready to emerge as the butterfly that life naturally wants us to be. And even though the struggles and the, and the shells and the cocoons can seem so hard to break free of at times and, and so thick, and we would love somebody just to be there to help us just crack, just give us a tiny little crack, give me just a tiny little crack so I can, it'll get me going. We have to remember that the cocoons, the struggles in our life are making us stronger and they're, and they're causing us and they'll allow us to be the most beautiful, wonderful, strong, powerful butterflies the world has ever seen. And I think that's a pretty important message that we all need to keep realizing. We're pretty beautiful butterflies, and we're ready to change. I'm ready to change. Are you?